welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video today, I'm going to tell you how to configure the Airbus edition of the Thrustmaster DCA Quadrant uh, for the Phoenix Simulations Airbus A320. All you have to do is just follow the steps that I will show you in this video and you will be able to configure your controller for the Phoenix Simulations Airbus A320. First of all, go to Options and go to Control Options. Now over here, you will see the TCA Q Engine 1 and 2, uh, this uh, controller over here. It will have different profiles. So just go to the default profile and uh, make a copy of it. Do not make any changes in the default profile. Just uh, keep it as is because it has got some other settings uh, which you can just uh, mess around. Uh, so just make a copy of it by going over here, open a preset manager and uh, do not click this option new, rather duplicate this profile and give it a name. I will name it as Phoenix A320. That's it. Oops. That's it. Now um, it's uh, it's there. Uh, all you have to do is this first of all check and set the sensitivity of the controller uh, for the LXS X and LXS Y. Uh, set the sensitivity minus to seven percent. I wish I, we could just type. <laughs> okay, I can. Can we? No, we cannot. So let's uh, set it to all the numbers will come, but not seven. Okay, and sensitivity uh, plus to minus fifty-five. That's it. <laughs> uh, dead zone uh, to nine percent. That's it. And a neutral, keep it at 50%. Extremity dead zone to 0% and reactivity to 100%. That's it. These are all the changes that you have to make. And the rest, just keep them like this and press done. Now uh, go to this option, power management, and go to throttle. Now you will see that the LXS Y and the LXS X, both, both the throttles on your controller are configured on throttle 2x is 0 to 100 percent and throttle 1x is 0 to 100 percent simply delete them because we don't need them over here it's very simple just clear the current input and validate that's it just to mention one thing that on the left hand side if you will see under the filter it says assigned so right now whatever the options are assigned to your controller uh, they are just coming over here so now the power management has disappeared. Go to new and just go to this option under power management, throttle. And you will see these two options, throttle two X's and throttle one X's. Click it over here and uh, select an input LXS Y. So let's uh, search for it, LXS X and LXS Y. So validate. So on throttle two axes, you will select joystick LXS Y and on throttle one axis, LXS X. Validate. That's it. And uh, just make sure that the reverse axis, this option is check. That's it. So just click this option, apply and save. Go back and just go back to controller options again. Bring up the Phoenix A320. Look at the sensitivity and you will see the settings are now there. And under the power management throttle to throttle two axis Y and one axis X. And it's in the reverse. If I move the throttle, you will see it's working. It's a full reverse thrust. And uh, now you can see this is my left throttle, which is LXS X. It is also configured and this is the Y, the right one. Okay. Now I will just go to the plane and uh, I will just uh, configure 
uh, this controller or rather calibrate it in the plane using the MCDU. Now I'm in the plane and I will just check if the control is still calibrated or not. So I'll just uh, bring it all the way back. Because I've calibrated before, that's why it's there. But I will just tell you right now how to calibrate it. So go to the MCDU. And go to this option config. And over here you will see controls configuration. Now I can clear this calibration. And uh, let's see if it works. See, now it's not working. For full it's working. If I bring it to... Uh, Flex, it goes to, uh, I think, way before it climb. And if I bring it all the way idle, back to idle, it's still not idle. And when I activate the reverse thrust, it's not getting activated. So right now, it's time to calibrate it. So let's go over here and press this option, calibrate. Uh, set reverse thrust levers to max reverse. So I will just go all the way back by pulling up in the reverse thrust levers and bringing it all the way back and you can see uh, for the right and for the left uh, throttle or the axis it says zero percent now simply go to the next step in over here in the simulation obviously it will not just go back because we are setting it right now so no need to worry about it but on the controller right now uh, the full reverse thrust is there so in the next step i have to actually set the idle reverse. Idle reverse is here, just right before the idle position. You have idle reverse. So what I'll do is this. I will just change hands because I have to click <laughs> with, the, uh, with, the, with, the, with the left hand because the right hand will be on the, the thrust levers. So I will just uh, bring it all the way up just before the idle thrust where the idle reverse is, which is here. And I will just click next step. That's it. Now I have to set the thrust levers to idle. Now on my controller, I will just put it to idle. Now it's set to idle. You can see the percentage is coming over here. Next step, I will now move it to climb, which is over here. Next step, I will move it to flex. And next step, Toga, which is take off and go around. Next step, and store calibration. Now, it's calibrated. Now you can see the reverse thrust is getting activated. This is the idle reverse position. Throttle idle. Climb. Flex. And Toga. That's it. It's very simple to do it. Maybe if you are just new to the flight simulation and to different controllers, it might take you, I think, uh, some time, 10 to 15 minutes to calibrate it. And once it's done, you can then do flights using your TCA Quadrant, the Airbus edition. With this, I would just like to end my video. If you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to comment on this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.